Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. Welcome to your Friday, May 24th, 2024. Day 145. The sun is a dead Still laser. sober. I haven't gotten sick yet like the rest of the family. They were sick this week. It, it was bad. It was, it was, it was quite bad. But we just haven't gotten sick. I tell myself we haven't gotten sick yet. So far, I figure out why. But we're, we're just waiting on it. I know I'm, um, I'm having trouble breathing. But not for that reason. It's just we're having trouble breathing today. Feels like asthma. But it's not like wheezy or anything like that. Just for of breath. And it is very, very obnoxious. But, uh, we're... I end up behind, but it's not too bad today. Um, we can't hear. The sunflowers look nice. We, I, I just went to this world called, uh, I think it's just called Fina Deshizaka. I, I, look, I, I, look, don't, don't, uh, I, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. I'm sorry. It's, it, it's beyond, it's beyond my skill levels. That's the easiest way to say it. it's beyond my skill levels. And it's okay to admit that because I, I haven't taken the Japanese class in almost 20 years. It's been, oh my goodness, it's been, it's been 19 years. It has been 19 years since I took a Japanese class. That's how long it's been, so, uh, Yay. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that, other than, wow, I need to learn to realize just how much I don't bother with foreign languages, especially anymore. I have no real need to right now. So, you know, uh, the kids are outside with Lily and they're playing in, the, in, in water. We don't have a pool, but we have plenty of sprinkler toys for them to play in. And, and, th and those poop water balloons. <laughs> So they're playing with those, they're just having fun because it is a warm day. It is very, it, it's warm. It's 94 Fahrenheit today. Thing is though, throughout the night, off and on, it was burst landing again. So we're not going to be able to bother with a lot until that dries too. And the only area where the grass grows almost uncontrollably is under buttercups. Trampoline. Under there, it grows even faster, and I don't have an explanation for why. It just grows faster there, and because of the rain, I'm behind specifically under, under her trampoline. Ah, but we're just more, more, more than anything, we're just um, relaxing. We're, we're trying to get through the rest of this month, being this 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 weekend that's coming up, and and um, next week. We have to get through because our supplies are starting to get low here, so we're just using as the less physical energy, I guess you could say. We're 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 lethargic. Um, stress levels are a little bit higher. Oh oh, and like Terry said yesterday, the pest control didn't show up yesterday. They didn't show up today, which is a good thing because they wouldn't be allowed to come over today. But that probably means they'll be here next Thursday. So we have to be prepared for that, but it's still frustrating because we wasted an entire day yesterday and it was wasted so hard that we were extremely tired and ended up, everyone in the house ended up sleeping a lot today. And, uh, well, we were all very tired again. I, I don't like, personally, I don't like sleeping. I do not like sleeping because my dreams are never good to begin with. I have terrible dreams. So I like being awake and I like getting things, I like doing stuff, being productive. I hate sleeping because I'm not getting things done and my, and my sleep is never good anyway. Wait, I don't, I don't know very many people who are just stuck with only having bad dreams. Although, there's the rare occasion, it's not like I have a good dream where things are pleasant or anything. Do you ever have that occasion where sometimes you have a dream where it just feels, you know, important? It's a weird thing to say, but sometimes a dream just feels important, but then you forget why it was important later. I get that sometimes, but typically my dreams are very, very bad, and to the point where you wake up very upset and just relieved that you're awake and can do things. But I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm awake. I, I'm awake, 
I'm feeling glad that I'm awake. I want to get some stuff done, but my options are a little bit limited right now because we just don't have a lot here right at the moment. And by that, I don't have much to cook. So what? Uh, so all of my all of my brain power usually goes to recipes, and I don't have things to cook with. I mean, I have some spices, and I have I have some chicken, but I'm I'm trying to go easy with those because we don't have a lot of it. And I have to spread all that stuff out, and I I should be able to get some stuff maybe this weekend, but not much. And you know, like uh, Tuesday, I think we can get a little more, but again, it, it's not much. But one, when our supplies are limited, I don't get very creative. Because creative means using more of what we have and we don't have much. So I'm, I'm in that, I'm in that vicious circle of I want to do stuff, but I know it's in my bet in our best interest that I don't. So yeah. I'll just, I'll just deal with it. Gotta do this kind of stuff. And, um, Tara was playing Harvard Core 6 again. He hadn't been, she hadn't been playing that in a long time, so he just tried to get back into that. And me, well... I like, na I like watching nature videos, and, uh, those are getting harder and harder. Has anyone noticed that it's getting harder to find videos on YouTube that actually involve not an AI-generated voice that spouts? A lot of nonsense. Like, don't... Uh, I, I can't really suggest anyone to watching a lot of those science-based YouTube channels because most of them are AI-generated. Where they're just gonna spout 75% inaccurate information and they're gonna spout it out faster than what someone can write. I don't like... The, the, oh, okay. Anyway, I, I saw something. I got confused. You can you can ignore my sidetrackedness, but I, I I just don't like them because they're not informative, and it's hard to find good nature stuff not behind some kind of paywall. But I can understand why. Uh, <sighs> it's Canada is fun. I, we like watching it's Canada. I haven't really watched much of them in a while because we've been so busy with other things. I am trying so... Sorry. I am trying so incredibly hard to get Buttercup and Sweet Pea out of their habitual media watching habits because their their habits are the same things on repeat all day. And it's really, really obnoxious. I, I don't like hearing the blippy ice cream song 18 hours a day. That's, well, okay, not exactly 18 hours, but definitely 10 plus hours a day we hear the blippy ice thing song. And then Buttercup, all we watch is like one YouTube channel in particular, and now she's only watching Bluey. I guess uh, her classmates got her into it, or maybe her school did, but all they do is they watch Blippy. Uh, I'm trying to remember that YouTuber's name because I don't pay attention to that stuff. It, it's, it's not my thing. It's not science. But th they watch a lot of Blindy, a, lo a lot of ping pong. Eh, this one YouTuber that does this thing, this thing called like Squishy, like Squishy Makeover. I, I don't remember her name. But they watch a lot of her, Bluey and Blippy. Not much else. Lily only watches Bold and the Beautiful at this point, and then does nothing else but character AI. I, ha I have my things involving character AI, where I'm just not that fond of it. But that's my thing, I'm not big on that. I like science, and... Believe it or not, even though I'm right here using virtual reality, I do really do. I, I like reality. I'm not copying reality TV. That stuff's nonsense and not reality. I, I like nature, astrophysics. I, I'm like tired. I love the outer space, but I prefer more like botany. I love botany. We both love geology and, uh, well, entomology. 
We like to learn things. And I, I've tried so many times. I have tried so many times to put on nature documentaries or something for the kids to watch that would be entertaining. And Lilia has complained that they don't need to watch that because it's old people stuff. I was learning old people stuff. The day you stop learning is the day you die. And that's a fact. Think about it. You learn every single day whether you realize it or not. Like, you finish your day off, you learn that your day was a day. Think about the things you did throughout your day and... You know, well, like, you're not learning any hard lessons, but they're always minor things, things worth, some things worth remembering, some not. You can learn, oh, today was fine. Or you can learn that today was terrible. But the, refu but the, ref the absolute refusal for them to watch things to learn from is, and it's a problem. They need to learn. Learning is, I, I love learning, okay? And I refuse to go, I'm, even when I was young, I'm talking like, 17, 18 years old, I refused to sign up for college. Because one, I saw the writing on the wall and knew that I was never going to be able to afford those student loans. And two, I saw the other writing on the wall because I grew up in California. I grew up in California. That's where we grew up. And all we saw was the activism of... You know, everyone, everyone I knew went to college to be angry. I didn't want that. They called me the angry person when I was a teenager. They, me! They called me. Well, I was. I was an angry child. We were angry. We had reasons to be angry. Don't need to go into it. But they went to college and, we, and came and spent their time angry and in debt. And what did it help for? Not much. So, I, I tried to go a different route, but it didn't, but it still didn't really work entirely for me, but for entirely different reasons. Being our brain don't work right. I guess that's the simplest why our brain never worked the same. Hey, we, like I said, we, we didn't even get to stay in the Navy. A lot of things failed for us. For entirely different reasons. Then, because we would have had the same, we would have had a similar problem in college too. So, we never bothered. And I'm, our, honestly, even, even through school, school, I didn't really learn much other than we hated it. The experience was terrible, and I hear so many people in, in adulthood, but I, I miss so much my teenage years. I miss being a kid. It was so easy. I hated being a kid. I hated my childhood. It was absolutely terrible. I did not miss a single day from my childhood. I, no, I can't say a single thing, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head that I found enjoyable about my childhood. My adulthood as stressful as keeping the bills paid and dealing with all the adult stuff and parenting, and, and even parenting, all of that to me what was is a big walk compared to what childhood was. I never want to revisit those days again. I am perfectly happy being an adult. These are the happiest days of my life. The ha there are three moments in my life, or, you know, tearing myself, there are three moments in our life that are the absolute happiest ever. That was getting married to Lilia, having Buttercup, and having Sweet Pea. Those are the, ha the three happiest moments of our life. And I wouldn't trade those for the world. And dealing with our with our children and dealing with all the stressful thing as the stressful everyday part of just being below the poverty line financially to me is emotionally and mentally easier than my middle class childhood I say middle class but I was I I, I, I lived under Ah, uh, very... I, I lived under the oppressive thumb of the system. How about that? Not, not the criminal system. No, I, I, we didn't deal with that, but no. We lived on... Tara and I lived under... Very oppressive rules of the mental health system. We were always under a magnifying glass for absolutely everything, and it was, it was not a good experience. I don't like talking about it because it was that horrible that, that, that I still have nothing but bad memories of childhood 
So, all the stress I deal with in adulthood of always trying to figure out how to make ends meet, keep the kids fed, keep them happy, these days for me are still slight. I, can, I don't like saying a thousand percent like a lot of people do, but absolutely, in terms of percentages, hundred percent. These are much better days for me than what childhood were. It's easier emotionally, mentally, and, uh, yeah, there's just, I, I understand that financially it's difficult because we live so much under the poverty line, but everything else, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I, I love the life that, that we've built here. I, obviously things could be better. They could always be better. But I would never exchange what I have now for my childhood. Ever. I never want to go back. I've al I've always been the person to cherish, you know, moving forward anyway and living in, in the moment and enjoying every little moment there is because I, I know so many people always talk about how bad things are. It's like, look at the small things too. When things are always really bad or when you feel things are always really bad in life and nothing ever goes well, the important thing to do then is to look at the small things. Look at the really small things in your day-to-day -day life and say, well, that was something nice today. That gave me a smile. And that's why when I go to grocery stores, I don't like self-checkout. I always go to the cashiers and I, and I make an effort to get a smile out of them. Not that you're typical. You should smile more often. You're beautiful that way. No, none of that. No, no. Say, like, do things. Being polite, getting a laugh out of someone and getting them to smile of their own volition without you telling them to. And because I know, I know how, especially, especially at Walmart, my goodness, people who shop at Walmart are mean. Stop being so mean. They, they have very, very rough work days. So if you go to a past year, try to, try to get, try to get them to smile and have a laugh. Give them something. It's like, okay, well, this made my day even just a little bit better because they, it's it really hard being a cashier. I, I've done it at, at a national, I've, I've been, I've worked front desk and cat and cash registers. It, well, I, we did work at Taco Bell at one point, but the, the most notable one is working at a national, sorry, at a national park. Uh, we've done it at national park where very entitled dignitaries go sometimes. Boy, howdy, the, the Saudis were very impolite when they visited. No, I need to get into that anymore, though. But... It can, it can make a, for a very rough day. So just do something to give them a smile. Always, like... Emotionally, you'll feel better. And if, and if they get a smile or a chuckle out of it, and it makes even that little moment for them better, and, and that's one of the things where I say it's look at the small things in your day-to-day -day life that keep you feeling better about a, a bad long-term situation. Because I can tell you, we live in a bad long-term situation, but all the small good stuff I deal with on my everyday make it all worth it. But because of all of that stuff, I still would never trade it for the... But there wasn't really much good about childhood. I've already said it, and I'm, and but you're not going to change my mind about that. Childhood was terrible. But I, th I think, I think I've done enough ranting for everyone. I've done a lot of ranting. By the way, this isn't the first option I was going to use for our video. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the waterfront back here. I love the sunflowers. Lily is going to love the sunflowers. But originally, I was going to go to a bowling world. But then I learned I really need to learn how to bowl with a controller. Because the last time I bowled in a video game was with the Wiimote, and this is a, uh, this is an index controller which handles very differently than a Wiimote. And I haven't gone bowling for real, like real life bowling in over 15 years. So, I'm so incredibly, and I haven't even bowled virtually since... Uh, 2010, I think, is the last time I did any, like, video game bowling. So I'm so incredibly out of practice, it's not really worth it. 
he even try. It was it was terrible. So like, you know, this something more relaxing rather than stressful because we're still keeping to the no cursing challenge as well. We're still only at four. I'd I'd like to make sure we don't get a fifth. But anyway, I want everyone to enjoy the rest of their Friday. Cause it, it's a warm one. It's getting even I am more in this room right now. I'm, like I'm. I need to turn my fan on. It's really bad right now. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, it's warm. My head. It, it's. I, I feel yucky at the moment. So I'd like to get some cold water. I want to relax. I want everyone else to relax as well. As of, of it being warm and the fact it's Friday. So enjoy the rest of your Friday. Day 145 is going nicely. It's going quite nice. So please take care of yourselves. And we will see you all tomorrow on Saturday, okay? Well, you'll see Terra, but Or did I find a better way of saying we'll see you tomorrow without me like, you'll see this person because this or that, because that's long-winded. But we shall see you tomorrow on Saturday. Please take care of yourselves, everyone. Bye.